This video is for those users who are going to sell their computer or laptop to someone else and do not want the new owner of the computer to use your account and see your personal files and settings. Hi, my name is Malik, I have been working with computers for over 20 years and I enjoy making videos that help people solve some common computer problems. First you need to create a backup copy of your personal files, and save them on another computer, on a USB flash drive or in a cloud drive. To remove all personal files from the computer, I suggest using the System Restore program which is built into Windows 11. If you are ready for this process, then press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard, and reboot the computer. Continue holding the Shift key. The computer has rebooted, we are taken to the System Recovery Options, Lick, Troubleshoot, and I'll go to the option, Reset this PC. OK. I click on, Reset this PC, and at the end I will have a completely new Windows 11, as if I just bought this computer from the store. If you select, Keep my files, in this window, then as a result of the process your account data will be saved along with your personal files, here you need to select, Remove everything, after which the computer will reset to factory settings. In the window that opens, we see two options, download from the cloud or local reinstallation. If the Windows operating system on your computer is working fine, you have not had any problems, or you have a slow internet connection and you do not want to wait a long time, you can perform a local reinstallation, and it will use the files already on your computer. But if you have a broadband high-speed connection, you can get a new copy of the Windows 11 version from the cloud, and this may be a better option. In this window we also see two settings options, if you are going to give your computer to someone else, or you bought this computer from someone else, then it is better to choose, foully clean the drive. This option will completely erase the disks without the possibility of restoring old data, and this process will take longer than if you choose, just remove my files, but I'm keeping my computer for myself. So, here I choose, just remove my files. In this window, the computer warns you of all the upcoming changes, and if you want to do it later, click Cancel, to continue the process you must click, Reset, and we are done setting up the process. But there is one more thing to say, sometimes this reset can take a long time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, connect it to a power source. I clicked, Reset, and the computer reset process started. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically restart several. OK. The computer reset process is complete, and now we need to make some settings. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. Accept the license terms. In this window you need to specify a name for the computer, but this can be done later. Here I will press Shift and F10 to open the command prompt and then install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. If you want to install Windows 11 with a Microsoft account, then skip this and continue the installation. But if you want to sell your computer, you need to continue the installation with a local account. To activate the command prompt, move it a little in this window, and enter a simple command. Press Enter, and the computer will immediately reboot. After rebooting, the computer automatically returned to the final stage of installing Windows 11, and for the trick with a local account to work, you need to pull the internet cable out of the network card. Here again, select your region, yes. Now select the keyboard layout, Yes. Skip. In this window, click, I don't have internet. Click, continue with limited setup. 
In the window that opens, you need to enter your username, for a computer being sold, it is better to enter a neutral name, I will write, admin. Next. You need to enter your password here, but I'll do it later. Next. I accept all these privacy settings. Next. The new Windows 11 welcomes us. There is not much left. Yes. I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 11 latest version on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. Since I disconnected the cable for the internet, in this menu we see empty spaces instead of application shortcuts, and on the taskbar we see that there is no internet connection on the computer. I reconnect the cable to the network card, and this immediately appeared on the taskbar. I click on the button, Start, and here we see that after connecting to the internet, all application shortcuts appeared in this field. Let's look at my Windows specification. You need to click, System, go down, and open the System Information tab. In the Open tab, we see that as a result of the process, the computer has a new Windows 11 of the latest version installed. Now I open the Account section. Here we see that my Windows is managed by a local account, and I am sure that after the purchase the new owner will easily change the username. To get a Microsoft account, go a little lower and open the tab, Your Info. In this tab, click, here, and then follow the system recommendations. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video, good luck.